quick. He says, and the Lord said to Joshua, do not fear them, for I have given them into your hands. Not a man of them shall stand before you. So Joshua came upon them suddenly, having marched up all night from Gilgal. Watch this. Verse 10. Now God's going to do this in your life. But this didn't happen until Joshua understood his mission. This did not happen until Joshua went forward with the little bit of strategy that God gave him. And then watch this part right here in 10. And the Lord threw them into a panic before Israel, who struck them with a great blow at Gibeon, and chased them by way of the ascent of Beth Haram, and struck them as far as Ezekiah and Machadah. And as they fled before Israel, while they were going down the ascent of Beth Haram, the Lord, the Lord threw down large stones from heaven on them. Now listen, when you go, God gonna fight with you. Amen. You gotta throw the first punch though. Yeah. See, we're ready to fight. And we'll sing songs that God is, uh, uh, he's going to give us victory. But man, you got to fight. You got to put your boots on. Yeah. You got to tie the boots up real, real tight. Yeah. You know, get rid of all the loose, loose clothing and all that kind of stuff. And get ready to go fight 10 if you got to go fight 10. You got to go fight them. And man, when you step up and you get ready to fight these 10, because metaphorically, that's what Joshua's doing. Joshua in his hand full of individuals, they cannot defeat those five kings. He just simply cannot defeat them. But I want you to see that based on his faith and trust in God, based on his commitment to his own mission in his life, purpose, dreams, destiny, he goes forth. And then God throws down hailstones. God has hailstones ready for you. He has them ready, man. But you won't do your part. All those people that are attacking you, God has a hailstone for them. But he can't throw them because you won't get out of the way. You know, in, in the military, you give them your, your concordance. You tell them where you are. And you say, I'm right here at uh, Red Dot Cuisine. But I got trouble across the street. Now, they don't tell you to stay right there. Because we're going to take care across the street. Yeah. So what happens... If you go across the street, how can they drop them down? They can't. And so what we do, we won't get out of our own way. Yeah. Mm. We keep trying to solve problems that we can't solve. Mm. We keep crying about the trouble that we cannot defeat. But if you would just give it to God, stay where he told you to stay, be where he told you to be, do what he told you to do. Right now, somebody is in service right now, and he's dropping down them hailstones in parts of your life. I mean, he's dropping them down. You're going to walk out of here, and in your spirit, you might feel the same way. But in faith, you're going to start seeing hailstones taken care of. It's going to be worked out in your life. And what you're doing, you're just sitting in worship service. You're sitting in church. You're one of the ones here in the number. And God is working it out for you. Believe that. Get that deep in your spirit. I mean, he is working it out for you in your life. So I want you to see supplies to strive. I didn't say survive. See, sometimes we're so content to survive, we don't know how to thrive. You know, we're trying to get our credit right so we can go finance a car. And God will give you a check just to pay for the car. Yep. And you're trying to finance it. Yep. Yep. You know, you're doing everything you can. Well, I'm trying to get my credit right. I'm just, and that's great. I think that's wonderful. But the best credit in the world is plenty of money in the bank. Yep. You got good credit. Plenty of money in the bank. And, and so I just want you to see, and I want you to open up your mind that what God has taken you, man, it is to a place where you thrive, no longer survive. Yes, sir. I'm tired of surviving, man. I've been surviving a long time. I know how to survive, but I'm tired of surviving. Yeah. I have been in some concrete jungles and some places. I have survived, man, but I don't want to go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to deal with it anymore, yeah. but I can handle it now. But I don't want to handle it. I don't want to what? Man, I want to thrive. I don't want to survive. I don't want to live off the land, as they say. I don't want to make it. You know? No, don't drop me in the jungle no more, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Put me in the penthouse, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll be good. <laughs> Let me tell you, I want to thrive. Time to survive. So I want you to open up your mind to success. There's a season to 
Jesus survived. It really is. Jesus, the first two years of his life, he 